I'm the boss lady. The Kelly Holland Show. Watch out, let's go. Just to get inside. Gospel talking, Bible walking, wanna help you see. Faith is calling and she's walking with the victory. The king is on the side and she never quits. Put you on the show and you reminisce. Creative to the point where she's making hits. Business savvy is a Kelly. Are you kidding this? Thank you for joining us today for the Kelly Holland Show. I'm so glad you tuned in. Today we have our amazing co-host with us, Miss Donna Story, and we are going to have fishbowl conversations. Many, many viewers have continued to write in to us and drop their relationship questions, and I'm so grateful that we can chat about those today. Before mm -hmm. I get started, let's reintroduce <laughs> Miss Donna's story to you all. Donna, please let our viewers know who you are, honey, and what it is that you do. I am the hostess with the most insight. Thank yes. you again. <laughs> Thank you so much again for Kelly uh, for having me. And yeah, I'm Donna Story. I have an online boutique. It's called a natural hair story where we sell amazing things. Go check me out on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all social media platforms. And I have a women's womb wellness uh, nonprofit. And it focuses on healing a nation that much starts with the women. So thank you so much for having me, Kelly. It's always a pleasure to have you. We have a great candid conversation. So Don't I... We? Okay, I just know that you are going to enjoy this today, viewers. So let's Yay. just jump right into it. We have people writing in from all over Maryland and prayerfully, you will start writing in from wherever you are watching. So let's see, what's the question we have today? Let's see. And I encourage all people to write in, not just the ladies. Oh, we finally got a male question. <laughs> Yay. The women have been writing in, but I'm so glad to start this show with a male's question. Okay, so we have Robert Cole. He's writing in from Annapolis, and he says, what does a perfect marriage look like? Oh, here we go with the marriage questions. All right, here we go. A perfect marriage looks like the one I don't have, because I'm divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love but it. a perfect marriage looks like strength. A perfect marriage to me looks like commitment. A perfect marriage to me looks like there's a greater love above all. You love my ins, my outs, my burps, my farts, um, my lipstick, my feet. You love everything there is about me, okay? And, and that's a strong marriage. Anytime you can say, yeah, my baby about to fill her plate up at the buffet, but she ain't going to eat all of it. I know my wife. Yeah, stand up for me mm. when I'm feeling greedy. <laughs> <laughs> a perfect mm. marriage for me is that unconditional love with unconditional understanding. So what do you think, Ms. Donna? Oh, this is a good one. Um, well, first off, the word perfect is a little tricky. Okay. There's no such thing as, I mean, even anything that is um, symmetrical is not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Even if an artist was to try to take a picture and make one eye on the other eye, sometimes it's not perfect. So I want to kind of go off of that analogy. I feel like a perfect marriage is not what it appears on the outside. I feel like a perfect marriage is re freaking spect R E S P E C T. Find out what it means to me. I love when I see couples who have weathered the test of time, but they're so respectful. You know what I'm saying? Um, let, let me check and see how she feels. I want to see how he feels. You know, give me a second. Let me check on my, I love that respect. You know, there are couples out here that don't name call. So for me, um, I think a perfect relationship is respect at all times. Respect being held at the most high. And also I feel like resilience I feel like resilience. You have to be yeah. resilient. You have to be able to bounce back from the trials and tribulations. Anybody can go through them. It's how you recover. And anybody can how start you, them. 
<laughs> oh, there we go. It's not how you fall. It's how you dust yourself up and get back in the game. So resilience is definitely <laughs> the key for me. I for me. It. For me. <laughs> I love it. Let's move on from this topic. I don't really care. So, so oh, she said, right next. So, right next. <laughs> okay. Love it. All right. So, Miss Rachel Matthews from Catonsville, what kind of gifts do you like? <laughs> Honey, <laughs> we can talk about this all day. <laughs> so, so. That's what I was going to say. How long you got? <laughs> How long you got? <laughs> What kind of gifts do I like? Goodness. Thoughtful gifts. Very, very thoughtful gifts. Those mm. are the ones that I enjoy. Yes. Many expensive gifts. Amen. Because that is still a thing. I, but, but, but understand this. If I receive them, I give them as well. So you will not get a, a poor gift out of me. It's going to be very thoughtful. It's going to be one of your favorites. It's going to be something that you've always wanted. And it's going to be something that you thought was a one day type of gift. Okay. That's how I give. Ooh. So I expect that type of gifting back. Um, gifts are part of my love language and it's ranked up there with one and two. And so <laughs> I, I love like gifts. I do because that means you're thinking of me and it's, it, it could be flowers. It could be, uh, yeah. it could be, um, you know, a pop-up outing. It could be um, a new fur. I love my furs. It could be a new car because <laughs> I've received these as gifts. So yeah. I don't feel like I'm out of bounds to ask. And then, right. so, um, you know, it could, it could be a, in a, I love jewelry a whole lot. I love handbags. Mm. I love shoes. Um, I, you really can't miss. Just buy me something. <laughs> buy me something you know I like. Don't <laughs> don't buy right. me iguana. Okay. Like, <laughs> what am I do with your iguana? Not a thing. I don't know. I can't take care of nothing but a dog. <laughs> don't bring me no plant. Uh, <laughs> Some people gift with oh plants. Oh my God, I'm Kelly, no plants. I don't even own oh a plant. You see these little trees sitting next to me? Uh, I don't <laughs> I don't own the plant. It. The plant will die. Okay. So, <laughs> right. Well, I'm chasing my dreams. Huh. Okay. Look, look, look. Die. Listen, I can take care of children, <laughs> men, and dogs. Okay. <laughs> That's the extent of me. Limit. That's <laughs> it. Mm -hmm. Donna, what's your it. what kind of gifts do you like? Oh my goodness. I'm so glad it's my turn. So <laughs> my <laughs> I was just I was always so excited. So my favorite gifts are adventure i love adventure like i like i like a good purse and not like i said um oh, i am travel. I, i'm passport ready we can travel but i don't go I love adventure. I, <laughs> I want the adventure like i want i want to go snorkeling i want to swim with the stingrays um, I want to go to uh, what is those what is the place that you break them, everything in one of them adventure people get killed by the stingrays we're not gonna live there. We're not gonna live in that land. He signed a waiver. <laughs> he went out. Look, baby, he went out how he wanted to go. Okay? I mean, but, one with the animals. <laughs> adventure, like one of my favorite gifts was a safari. Why? So much fun! I got the pet the giraffe. Like I, re th okay. those are the gifts that I'm like, oh my gosh. So for me, those gifts that just make me again like a little kid giddy. My inner child comes out and smiles is when we do adventurous stuff. Let's ride bikes together. Let you know. Let's go. I like. I love stuff like that. I love stuff like that. But monetarily, um, I hate to sound like that girl, but I love plants. <laughs> um, I do. Like, I have a whole plant window. Plants are all over my house. Um, I would. I would say a puppy, but I already have two. I think that might be overkill. Um. I like, I like the, the whole, like, I'm not saying the date, is, the gift is the date, but for me, the gift is a date. Like, I am that girl who likes to do everything with her dude. I know that's corny, but I am, I'm, I do, I like, I like, I like for him to be my buddy, my chum, my rider. So, um, I like adventure. I'm definitely going to say I like adventure. Uh, to an extent, like I've been skydiving, um, it's checked off the list that we will not go back up there again. Um, snorkeling, 
okay, um, in the shark free, stingray free waters, maybe uh, scuba diving, <laughs> same premise, uh, maybe. Um, <laughs> now, if we're off in Bali, mm -hmm. hanging out on a bungalow um, that's over the water, and you would like to go jump in the water, I'm right behind you. And then I'll swim right over to the ladder and climb right back up. So <laughs> I do test the water no matter what country I go to. I jump in your water. That's, that's just a thing. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, but my adventure skills aren't really that that deep. I'm, I prefer a tangible gift. Um, but I'll definitely take a vacation anywhere. That is definitely a gift for me. The passport is ready. We have been to countries and we are willing to travel to others. Amen. Amen on that. We can go on and on about gifts, honey. I just love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some people were brought up <laughs> with gifts being a form of love. And it was like, if you didn't buy me nothing, you didn't love me. Or because I bought you something, you ought to love me. I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, mm. I like for your gifts to be a compliment to our relationship. You see what I'm saying? Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. I think they're a big part of relationships. I do. I feel like you should be able to give, receive, and also it needs to be times when you say, hey, this is just for me. I'm getting something just for me. I don't want you to feel any type of way about it, but that's that's when you get older and wise. Older especially, and wise. especially the wise when they go shopping and, and then they bring back the socks for their man, which I've done before, but he needed socks, so I didn't think I was in right. I'm guilty of that. <laughs> I'm guilty of that too. <laughs> But that's not all the time, especially if you're with me. If you're with me, we're going to go all out. But anyway, <laughs> um, we have another question. Uh, Stacy Baxter from St. Mary's County. She says, what makes a relationship totally unique? Girl, Stacy, <laughs> all relationships are unique, honey, <laughs> because they're all new experiences. You are the one that turns it around and you make it work for you. Um, and when doing so, it's okay for each couple to have their own set of rules. I definitely um, live by that. You know, me and you, we get along this way because of us. And so these are the type of rules that guard us and our energy and our relationship. I'm fine with that. So to me, um, couple rules to me is what makes things unique. <laughs> mm, I like that because those are the boundaries. Those are the boundaries that keep you all united. Exactly. Um, unique for me, I mean, I got to agree with you, Kelly. I can't go outside of that. I kind of feel like every relationship is, an, is a learning experience for you to learn more about yourself and what you want out of life. Mm -hmm. So as you move through your relationship journey in life, I definitely feel like the next one should be your, your next move need to be your best move. Mm -hmm. so, so if you, you know, if you didn't always have good communication, Make sure you have good communication with this person. Hey, maybe you for your relationship should get fishbowl topics. Hey. And always talk about what's going on so you guys can understand. But I definitely agree with you, Kelly. Boundaries and rules. Mm -hmm. For sure. Exactly. Every relationship needs their own set of boundaries. Please don't come into this relationship with what you did before. I'm not ah. a girl. <laughs> And most, times, most times I'm going to challenge you on it because I don't like for people to try to infuse their their um, their views on me. I was like, please don't. We can have a discussion, but what you're not going to do is mildly control me. So I'm watching mm. you. <laughs> I'm watching and everybody's movies. different. I'm watching you. <laughs> everybody's different. Kelly can't be the, you know what I'm saying? Everybody is different. So you can't even go into a relationship expecting for it to be like your last, you have to be open-minded because everybody's unique. And that makes people unique. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. I hope you're satisfied, honey. <laughs> I love it. Reaching back into the fishbowl. We are, we are, we are. Let me give it a little mix right here. I don't want to just pull off the top. Okay. All right. Here we go. 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 Okay. We have Sarah Davis from Silver Spring. Silver Spring is in the house. They are reaching out. Maiden name Davis. Come on, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah is bringing it. What does it mean to be a good partner? You know what? These questions are kind of synonymous to me today, and that's okay. Good partners are loving partners. Good partners are complementary to one another. Um, you don't make me. I don't make you. We complement each other. Uh, good partners love and respect. They check in. Um, they, they don't stay out all night. Um, and if Ooh. they do, you know I'm going to stay all out night. And you know who right. I'm with. And you know where to find me in case of an emergency because we have no secrets. Um, I'm going to stop right there and pass it to you. Tag you in, honey. 
Ooh, not. good partners. Good partners are considerate of each other's needs. Um, needs change all the time. You may be a super independent girl and you handle everything on your own. And then let's say you have a car accident. Mm. or you know and you need someone to pick up the slack I, I need my partner to be considerate of my needs as well because right now my mother and father has have a comment and they say you're going to be older a lot longer than you're going to be younger Absolutely. so for everybody to think that health is always going to be at 100 percent you know your ability to do things is always going to be at 100 percent it's not so when one falls the other one needs to pick up the slack so I need a considerate involved partner you know what just to piggyback off what you said <laughs> instantly the image of um Kevin Hart's comedy special he was like mm. would you stay with me if I got bit by a shark I had no arm I had no leg and I'm just see, <laughs> see? <laughs> and that's, that's your person <laughs> right said, that's your that's that. your person that you is your person no right no, no 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 he made a good point do i want that in my life do i want to wheel you around i don't think i like you that much in the beginning like we got to have some yeah i'm not gonna be honest i don't want to okay. do that okay i don't you lose one on one leg and you want me to still love you the same way it's different no i won't it, <laughs> i it, won't Get, get in a home yeah. and get treated and have your occupational therapy. I don't want it. I do not. I'm being completely yeah. honest here. I don't want it. Now, if we done put 30 some years in, come on with your little handicap self. I mean, you, that's my baby. We call you handy baby. But, but, Goodness. but in the beginning, I don't want that. Let's, let's have a year in it. I'll be like, girl, he got bit by that shark. <laughs> shark. It's the shark for me. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! I don't, go there. I don't want that. I do. I do not want that. Let you get legally blind on me. Uh, no, nah. <laughs> I don't want that. I, I don't want that. So, so, no, I can't. I could probably I with the legally blind part. I probably could because don't nobody know you blind. So, <laughs> Oh my god. in the air today, baby. <laughs> That's about the extent of my handicap abilities. Um <laughs> let me just stop because I'm so offensive right now. Lord forgive they me. They know what they're getting into, baby. They okay. gotta know what they're getting into. Okay, I'm just being completely honest. Would you take somebody was missing a right arm and a right leg? <laughs> like what he said when your baby came over. She had two eyes, right? Two eyes, right? <laughs> yeah, she had two eyes, right? I love it. I love it. What does it say? Like somebody had to go. So, <laughs> so. All right, James serious. Burns in the house. We got James Burns writing in from Annapolis. He says, where's the wildest place you ever did the do? Mm. James, you nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's be honest. Couples will get down wherever they want to get down, and so any yes, a couple's like, right. Hmm. We say Donna. couples right. You have the right when you with your partner. I, I, I have no cut cards when we in love. When we in love, <laughs> you will get the most free spirit out of me. There will be no boundaries for for our uh, occasions. I don't care where we are, <laughs> and I mm. kind of think it's exciting if we're somewhere where we definitely shouldn't be doing this, and we're doing this. So <laughs> that's me trying to keep it as clean as possible. What about you, Donna? <laughs> Oh my goodness, you didn't even give a location. You want you really want some of my locations? I was trying to be up the wildest place I ever did it. Oh so many places. Um, <laughs> outside. I'm just gonna leave it blank like that. Outside. I'm not gonna tell you where, how, or when, just outside. <laughs> you gotta use your imagination. That's it. That's that's what she said. Ooh. Oh boy. I mean, crazy. See, this is, I guess we could just say outside. I, I, I definitely no, don't no, want to No, no, you do. can't take my answer. <laughs> Get your own I did, face. I did. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say, and I'm going to say in the, in the New York stairway. New York stairway. Okay, okay, okay. Like, quick okay. little Can New I York stairway. Can I beat mm, that? Mm. Um, I can beat that. Elevator. <laughs> Of a nice hotel at that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next, your turn. <laughs> 
Oh goodness. I, I mean, I can't, I don't, I can't trump that. I gotta tell the truth. Uh, I guess um God, what is called Atlantis? I'm not gonna say where. Uh, okay, honey, she's still I'm, I'm, at, 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 Atlantis. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. She said Atlantis. Where have I gone and did the do? Oh, on the um, on the beach in Punta, Punta Cana. <laughs> well, that's the five. You got that. You might gotta write about that one. Girl, I'll write all of it. <laughs> Amazon's bestseller. Okay. Period. <laughs> I love it. Now let's move on for we be up here telling people how nasty we are all the time. <laughs> I keep something in the pocket. You got to <laughs> tune in to get the rest, honey. So <laughs> that's how we're going to leave that. All right. What, who do we have here in our fishbowl topics? I pulled out a name right here. Didn't get to read it. Um, we have Tony Annette. Okay. Two first names. I got you, boo. And she says, she's in Towson. Okay, we're coming closer to me. All right. What makes you feel happiest and most fulfilled? Girl, you won't have me crying here, Tony. Um, what makes me feel the most happiest and fulfilled? All right. So I'm going to keep this quick um, <laughs> and just let you know, um, having my own man. Um, I think that's the only part of me that may be sim somewhat void. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to sit up here and pretend to say, oh, I don't need a man. I got all this. I want companionship. I do. And so I feel most fulfilled when my life is aligned, where the man is right, where my life mm -hmm. is right, where the children are right, where the goals are right. Um, that's, that's where I feel the most. <laughs> okay. Um, go ahead, Donna. How do you, what makes you feel the most fulfilled? What makes me feel the most fulfilled is freedom. Um, just, I, I was able to start my entrepreneurial journey five years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could ever go back. I love the freedom of my time. I love the freedom of my objectives. I love the freedom of my movement. That is what makes me most, most happy. And then a man. <laughs> and, and then put him right underneath you because know we do I love that is the balance that is the yin and yang I am divine feminine I require yeah masculinity Requ yes. it's, a, it's a minimum it's a minimum yes. so I love it but yeah freedom and then a, a fine man that can deal with my crazy self okay That's it. Love That's my it. baby, and I'm going to love you too, <laughs> Jen, baby. Absolutely. You have no idea. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. As we wrap things up, we want to invite you all to come back each and every week that we air. Um, it's so important that you continue to write in for our fishbowl conversations. We just love to hear all of your unique questions. Um, I wanna give a shout out to Life Academy. Um, that is a nonprofit that offers you uh, financial literacy, workforce development, and mm. life skills. So shout out to Life Academy. You can hit them up online at L-I-F-E hyphen or minus sign for some of you that, anyway, Academy I N C. <laughs> dot com life academy inc dot com um anybody want to shout out donna <laughs> Yes, definitely. I want to give a shout out to a natural hair store for loving me and making sure that I'm always amazing when it comes to these locks, honey, and also the makeup. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to Women's Wound Wellness, which is my nonprofit, which focuses on women healing women. It is so very important for the creators of our world, universe, and nation to be of sound mind and body. So a natural hair story at Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Google, and all your social media platforms, YouTube as well. Thank you, Kelly. Kelly, did I say thank you? Always. Did I say thank you? Yes. No, the gratitude you. is felt. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much for having me, Kelly. You are so amazing. Thank you so much for joining us today, Donna. And thank you for Lexi Nailed It for my beautiful nails. Boom, boom, boom. They are always on point. And thank you to Maddie Henson for this beautiful face. She keeps it beat to the gods. Anyhow, <laughs> please join us. Please join us. Please join us and come back to the Kelly Holland Show. And never forget to tap back into your unspeakable joy. Have a great day. Hey, everybody, this is your girl, Evangelist Sandra E. Jackson. And the E stands for aesthetic because I am aesthetic to be alive. I am a shiftologist, an author, an anchor woman, a mother of nine children, and a motivator. 
I am here to help you. Head over to my website, www.sandrarumph.com. That is S-A-N-D-R-A-R-U-M-P-H. I have what it takes for you, and I would like to help you. So go to website, www.sandrarumph.com. I can't wait to hear from you. Like 